Hello everybody, this is Jeff Janess and welcome to Lab Exercise 8 in our Projections and Datums lecture. In this one we're going to learn how to take an existing predefined coordinate system and modify it to some special characteristic that we want. And I like to do this a lot for aesthetic purposes. You might have noticed in some of my slides I have a lot of pictures of the globe oriented different ways. I like to use the orthographic projection. It's also called the world from space projection. And what I often do for these little videos is just uh, write some code that will set the map coordinate system to orthographic with a particular centered longitude and latitude. And I'll export that map as an image. Then I'll just adjust the longitude and latitude a little bit and re-export and do it 100 or 200 times and then stitch all those images together as frames in a video and it gives a sort of motion effect and I just have fun with that. I also did that with that Werner projection at the early part of this lecture where we talked about how you get that coordinate system that looks like a heart. Anyway I want you to see how to do it. It's pretty easy so let's let's go ahead. We'll just take the uh, map and use that orthographic world from space and center it on Flagstaff and it, it's a snap. All right, so open a new map, add any base map you want. I, I'm kind of partial to the National Geographic, and we've already got that uh, wired in from earlier lectures, so I'm going to just load it up. Here we go. There it is. Now, it starts out, the map will start out in the coordinate system of that data, which is this WGS84 Web Mercator. But we want to change that to orthographic or world from space. If we just do that, uh, take the default version, it's well-known ID, WKID 102038. There's world from space we look at the details, we'll see that this is centered at longitude negative 72.5 and latitude 42.5. So this will draw this world from space with that pair of coordinates at the very center. So we hit OK, zoom to the extent, and there it is. So the center of this image is at that pair of coordinates. So maybe, uh, maybe New York or Massachusetts, wherever that is, isn't really our personal focus, and we'd rather have the globe centered on Flagstaff, but we just have to change that latitude and longitude. Let's, okay, let's go back to the coordinate system. Here it is. If we right-click on it, and you have to right-click on the words, we can do Copy and Modify. All right, and we're going to change this longitude and latitude to centered. We're going to change the longitude. Let's see what, what I'm recommending. Here we go. School of Forestry is at longitude negative 111.66 and latitude 35.18. Okay, just click on that. Now we have a custom version of this. Hit OK. Might have to recenter the map. And now we are centered on Flagstaff. And that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple to do. You can then export this and you can play with it in Photoshop and kind of fancy it up. I, you can you can play. I, I, I like throwing it into images of space. You can download these space images from NASA and just it's just fun. All right, that's it. Thanks so much.